Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. Nearly seen your citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day. And another day in which I forgot to put my bracelet on. It's still over on top of my hamster cage. It's not lost. It's just underneath some things at the moment. And so uh, I'll find it for tomorrow. Yay. Past that, of course, the Daily Shelton Washington Weather and Plague Rat Report. The weather is, well, yesterday it was very humid and gray outside and then about the time that I wanted to go walkies it started raining and so I pushed back the time of walkies later and later but then I went because it had stopped raining but just to be on the safe side I took my travel umbrella with me so of course the sky <laughs> cleared up and became blue <laughs> so better safe than sorry it's better to have something and not need it than need something and not have it so I'll carry my umbrella and not need it, no problems, just to make sure that I've got it when it is, is necessary. So thumbs up for that. Past that, um, I did stop in at Safeway. And there were a few people wearing masks so that's good but primarily no no not a lot of mask wearers in town and of course restaurants no real social distancing tables are not you know tight but i wouldn't say that between the middle of one table to the middle of one is is really far away so i don't know i don't know do i think that we should be opening up like this no so because all it takes is one. Just have one person in Shelton travel to Olympia, come across somebody there that hasn't been wearing a mask and bumped into somebody that does have it. Because we don't have a ton of it in Mason County, but it's in others too. So you travel or somebody from Olympia travels here, bumps into somebody, and then the next thing you know, for the next two weeks as you're pre-symptomatic, you're spreading it and <sighs> just takes one. So until we have a vaccine, because I get my flu shot every year, I get a pneumonia shot, I get anytime there's a new vaccine that comes up for something that could cripple or kill me as I get older, I get a, vac a vaccine for it. So you can bet your behind I am going to get a Kofefe bug vaccine when it comes out. Science is real. Science is good. Vaccines are wonderful. In fact, I made sure that both of my children got the, at the time, relatively new HPV vaccination. I had to push for that because my sister-in-law was the, is the guardian. And that wasn't really something, being good Mormons, that they wanted the kids to have. So I made sure they got them. Vaccines, they work. I go in, I don't know how many tetanus booster shots I've gotten in the last like 20 years. <clears throat> because your tetanus shot only lasts like 10 years, then you need a booster. And I had been getting hurt fairly, fairly a lot at one point. And so I'm pretty sure that I got like a tetanus booster shot like every three or four years for a time, just to be on the safe side. Tetanus is, it's terrifying. It is nature is scary nature will slaughter you like a bug and diseases before modern science it was horrifying i mean i i like to use this as an example just because it was so bad it's like i can't remember if it was the jim beam or jack daniels guy but it was one of those big we make alcohol types and it was only back in like the 1800s late 1800s and the guy was pissed, so he kicked a safe with his boot. So he was wearing boots when he kicked his safe. And it injured his toe. And a year later, he was dead because of the infection in his toe. So, give me medicine. Give me science. I am a firm believer in all of that. And if you have faith 
and you have a religious faith or a spiritual belief and stuff, that's fine. It's just it kind of comes into this one old thing where I cannot remember the exact origins, so it is a paraphrasing, but it is like this this goat herder goes up to the person, you know, the religious leader type and says, you know, should I trust in God or should I tie up my goat? You know, don't want to insult God by tying up your goat when God will take care of it. And the religious person said, as an official religious person thing, trust in God and tie up your goat. Have your faith, but get your vaccinations. Trust in God, but tie up your goat. So thumbs up on that. Past that though, I did, as I said, go walkies and I didn't go very far. I just, once again, a loop up into Southern Shelton and then all around Southern Shelton, not Southern Shelton, downtown Shelton, and then back. So it wasn't very exciting. It wasn't very long, but it, it was walk. Well, it was walk. <laughs> I was gonna say it was walkies and it was good, but it was like that. So it was good. And exercise is a very good thing. Definitely a thumbs up on that. Past that though, I've just been trying to think of what to do for my story. That I'm, you know, I'm, until I can get properly treated, I'm probably never going to write. You know, I wanted to be a, a paid published writer my whole life. And I have written my whole life. I still do, just not huge amounts. I've been paid for my writing by reading some of my stuff online here I've done I've been published so I mean with amateur press associations I've talked about those where I was involved in pre-internet internet culture so I've done things not things that will ever get me remembered for but again you know it doesn't matter the best you can hope for the best you can hope for 100 years after you die is to be a footnote in a history book that's about the best that you can hope for and there's a lot of us out there very few people get written into the history book so just another cog in the machine nothing wrong with that so <coughs> Excuse me. Yesterday or the day before or some such, I had been talking about how in my story of the bone hurting juice place that when they were getting information and visions, the clerics of Seder C, how it was, you know, Seder C doesn't care. Can't. Because Seder C to us is like, you know, gravity, light universal constants there is no frame of reference but there is family that comes downward in a line there's the cosmic horrors have a step down person because they can't enter a lot of universes without those universes flash burning underneath them but they can send down if they find something interesting there the next level down it's a egg and being that is treated by Amagaratsu, then treated by the appropriate cosmic horror, and then it is much more than any being that we would know of, but is far, far less than a cosmic horror. The cosmic horrors don't really, can't relate to us individually. Again, gravity, us, there's no frame of reference. But when the next thing down, the Ong, comes in, it is, it is at least able to understand us as we are able to relate to microorganisms. Those things that are, you have to magnify a thousand times to be able to see in their little tiny drop of water. They at least know we're there and they can deal with us on that level. 
Which is why, when they arrive in the universe, they burrow into the side of reality to make their birthing chambers, and they hatch their 12 eggs to birth their children, which are the Angoka. Those are another step down there aspects of the cosmic horrors and that they are aligned with them you know each one of the children of the ong is like one of the cosmic horrors in makeup and temperament they're their own being but they are aligned with that cosmic horror and these ones these beings are able to relate to us as we can relate to hamsters so at least they're able to deal with us on that level. They can, you know, even on an individual level, but how you can't talk to or learn anything from a hamster. So that's why they have the this next step down where they deal with allied alien races. And then these allied alien races are able to interact with people on a one-to-one -one or as we interact with extremely smart huskies. So, these individuals know about Satyrus's interests in ancient stuff and knowledge. They have been in this universe. They know that all this stuff is fascinating for Seder. So Seder doesn't care. Seder doesn't know. Seder is far, far above this. But all the underlings and children of Seder, those do know and do care. And this universe here, probably what happened is there's the one cosmic horror, Erogots, who's trying to catalog the multiverse, found this, discovered it was interesting, contacted Seder, who sent down an Ong with its Ong Goka, and then they have been dealing with and cataloging all of this. Ah, slurring with my dentures. So, while the big boy may not be directly involved, everything is still involved. So, hey, hey, what do you say? Once again, it's uh, the 500 page volumes, uh, three sets of world building stuff so that you can write the short little thing about this big. <laughs> Which is the way I work. I, I have to know and understand it all. Even though when I write my stories, I have a beginning, I have a rough idea of what I hope the ending will be, and then it's a, a game of exploration as I get surprised by what's happening on the way there. They're writers that when they write, everything is pre-planned. So when they actually sit down and write, it's all done. They're just finally getting the finished product done. And they're never surprised because by the time they write, it's done. Whereas I'm one of those writers where when they start, it's an adventure. Mum's up for that. And there's nothing wrong with either one of those reaches. Just because I'm not the pre-planners doesn't mean that's, that's good or bad. The guy that does the Hammer Slammers series of novels, David Drake, that's the way he writes. Everything is pre-planned so that when he puts it down, it's already done. He's just putting it in stone now. And there's the other writers that I cannot kind of... Um, Blah, 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 come up with a name at this moment so my apologies but they do the hey let's see where this takes us method of writing so thumbs up for that again nothing wrong with either way of doing it it's just whatever you would like and then of course when I came in this morning and started up my computer it started making this horrendous deep thrumming sound and then it did it again when I turned it off and turned it back on and then third time's a charm, it didn't do that. Then I'd mentioned how it had been locking up. Well, I started it up, got it going, had it under the Windows screen, had to go down to go to the bathroom, came back up and it was on the welcome screen. So it didn't lock up, it, it restarted. Oh boy! Luckily, this only seems to happen within the first few minutes of starting up. So if it makes it past that point, then we're good. But, thumbs up. 
Well, I have opened up 24 hours worth of comments in my community tab, and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm just thanking you for having left a comment. Afterward, I'm going to go through and read, thumbs up, and answer as many as I can. It is appreciated. Thank you so much. If I mispronounce the username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker. We're just not good at that. And even though I count an American, American, oh my God, American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand with my depression, fibro, and what you just saw. Who knows what that was? Uh, I'm sometimes amazed I remember anything at all. But let me call up my Chrome because we have Vlad. Greatly appreciated. Denial, thank you very much. Ice Damon, good to see you. We have Aaron S., thumbs up, and thank you much. Travis Jones, greatly appreciated. And Hokey Smokes, Kathy Kitska, please be, be careful, and I hope that helps. And Snasa Cobra, thumbs up, and thank you. Gladys Hart, thumbs up. We have Brutish Wing, greatly appreciated. Cardboard Frog, <clears throat> just don't get that frog wet. Thumbs up and thank you. Confused Owl 29. Is that the first or second time I thank you? Either way, thank you very much. Loisan, L O W E S A N Dune. Thumbs up and thank you. We have Aaron S. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. There is uh, da, 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 Unhexable. Thumbs up and thank you. With Astro Music. Greatly appreciated. We have Miguel Gonzalez. Thumbs up. And Colin Reisner, good to see you. VNA Zillas Vlogs, I sure hope I'm close, but I bet I'm not. Thank you very much. Brianna Briones, thank you very much. Elder Wolf 569, thumbs up and thank you. Russian Timing, greatly appreciated. Good to see you. Ali Shabiri, and good to see you as well. <clears throat> we have Alekia Das, thumbs up, and then there is Noah. Greatly appreciated, and Gravo Blamo, or Gravo Blamo, or however that's actually pronounced, but good to see you in the comments. It's been a while. Definitely a thumbs up. I could feel myself slurring around my dentures there. My apologies. So, thank you, each of you, so very, very much. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. If you could, check out my various links down below. <coughs> Got a catch going on here. Very uncomfortable. Did I, which part? If you could, you got my various links down below. I have like Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com. If you could, donate to my GoFundMe campaign. Or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people. That would be beautiful and awesome. Greatly appreciated indeed. If you'd like to help me out but you don't want to send money to one of those two places, I have a PayPal link down below. That would be cool. And if you didn't want to send money at all but you wanted to help me out, I have an Amazon wish list link as well. That would be cool. Now, do not feel obligated. I do not feel entitled. And if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very, very much. If you can toss me a like, I appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. A definite thumbs up. And of course, if you can subscribe to the channel and and <coughs> hit that bell. That would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to, but if you are down with it, I will do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. So thumbs up for that. Well, I still have to record something for later today because yesterday I didn't. I actually fell asleep in the evening and didn't get a ton done. You know, I went walkies and then I came back and uh, then went to bed. So, hmm. Still, though, I'll get it done. Definitely a thumbs up. So, you take care. Have a great day today. I will see you on the flip side, my friend, and that is a very good thing. Oh, excuse me. So take care, be safe, and, well, be safe.